Okay, here's the new little section of our videotape. Warning, this is a definite big warning and disclaimer. This is all for informational purposes only. We're just doing it because we want to see what's out there in the world. And, well, nobody's told us we specifically can't do this, so we're going to take a look over at our lock over down here. There we go, it's one of those cool little keypad locks. If we search down here, you can check out. There's like a little screw. A little tiny, tiny screw. It's got a weird head, but um, basically it can be removed very easily with a pair of these little doodads. Little tiny needle nose pliers, and you just kind of jam them in there and undo it. And uh, By the way, kids, don't try this at home. Try this at somebody else's home. You just unscrew that and pop it open and whoa, lo and behold big clip of 6 AA batteries with a little tiny, I don't know if we can see it they're connected with a 9 volt clip down in there somewhere well, autofocus really sucks now, you'll see four screw holes, one, two, three, and four, each with standard Phillips head screws pop those out and well we get after a little bit of time lapse and I was saying after a little bit of time lapse we get all kinds of cool stuff which is going to be kind of hard to see here because I can't quite get it in the screen uh, basically we have like the physical lock mechanism there we have right here is a nifty little thing that goes back and forth connects up to right here manual lock up above we have the card reader connect over to Come on, autofocus, connect it over to our nifty little set of AA batteries. So we have all the card reader information there. I see a little jumper. I don't know if that's for programming. Oh, come on, autofocus, or for clearing, or what, but it looks kind of cool. Well, that was just to let you know. wish I could give you a real good close-up look of what's in there, but I really don't want to dismantle this lock too much more because, well, if it loses its memory, we're going to have a couple of keys that really don't go anywhere. And, well, we'll have a locked hotel room and not any way to get to our stuff. So, uh, that's it. I'm signing out from this little do-it-yourself adventure. Uh, I'll check, it, check you later. Now, Enigma's big question of the day is how the hell do they reprogram these things? Because we see you know, our battery pack there with the 9-volt clip on it. You can pull that out and just like empty wall behind there. Not very cool. The rest of it is really hard to get to because you have to like take off some plates and this is some shielding here that can't come up. Take out these four screws and I doubt that they take out all the screws and stuff to reprogram it. So it's probably something on the other side. We'll take a look at the other side in just a sec. Well here's the other side. We just have card slot, keyhole. Some funky little thing. It looks like it might be some sort of light. I know it doesn't light up to tell you that the door is unlocked. In fact, that might be infrared, come to think of it. Wow. We might have to have a closer look at this. Actually, no, it looks less like a light and more like some sort of little recessed button or joint or some such thing. A little bit of research. That little pivot thing on the other side, the little joint. <laughs> He's a joint. Uh, that joint is just this thing right here. But that key lock really doesn't do anything like physical lock mechanism but if we can see it buried back away in here oh come on focus it's got a little pin sticking out that hits a giant switch over here that goes click now either I have completely wiped out my memory or I've set it out to a programming mode where it's going to look for a new card to use as its key code so basically operation of this normal operation put in your card, pull it out, if it's okay it unlocks, if it's not okay it doesn't unlock. Uh, another operation is if you put a key in, rotate it around so that little, this little thing sticking down flips over and hits that switch, it apparently puts it into some kind of programming mode, although we haven't played with that too terribly much yet, but we will keep you updated.